You are welcome to Initiative for Health Accountability and Transparency. And this is Introduction to Health Leadership, Management and Governance. IHEART is a non-governmental organization registered in Nigeria and founded to promote good governance in the health system. At IHAD, our strategy is to improve accountability and transparency, two key concepts that are required to improve efficiency and integrity in the health system. Our mission primarily is to contribute substantially to making accountability a core element of the health system. We are an independent CPD provider that is accredited by Medical and Dental Council of Nigeria. We are also exploring further accreditation by other professional regulatory bodies such as the Nursing and Midwifery Council of Nigeria and also the Pharmacist Council of Nigeria. I had award certificate of attendance to all its participants. We award continued medical education credits to all medical officers that complete our courses. And we will equally award CMA credits to other professionals once we get accredited by appropriate regulatory agencies. Leadership and governance is an important but often neglected critical area that is most fundamental for building stronger health systems. Therefore, our focus is strategic on health, leadership, management, and governance development. Our targets are future and current health leaders, managers, resident doctors, and other health professionals aspiring for leadership, irrespective of their current status or professional background. There are six building blocks of the health system. Leadership and governance is just one of them. The other five includes service delivery, health workforce, health management information system, have financing and technology supplies and consumables. All the six blocks have to be present and function together as a unit to be effective and for investments in the health system to make any meaningful impact. Merely allocating public resources for health goods and services may not necessarily lead to good results, particularly if leadership and governance system is not functioning effectively. There are severe limitations to scaling up of services and for achieving better health outcomes, primarily due to inadequate capacity in leadership, management, and governance at all levels of the health system. There is global attention on universal health coverage with a focus at improving geographical and financial access and this has made the need for scaling up health services very very imperative. This is necessary beyond the increased investments that is happening in physical infrastructure, in equipment, human resource, supplies and other needs of the health system. Let us individually reflect on why the justification for investments in leadership, management, and governance development. There are strong justifications for investments in leadership, management, and governance development. Managing modern health system is a challenging mission and this requires trainings beyond the technical knowledge which most of the times is our obsession. 
there are required competencies that the health leaders and managers need, particularly what we call the soft skills, and this includes practical knowledge, skill sets, and competencies in special areas and practices like good leadership skills, communication, motivation, conflict management, and others. There is also the issue of inadequate preparation, both in pre-service and in-service level. There is under preparedness or health professionals to play leadership and management roles in the health system. There are also issues that have to do with advancement in health and medical sciences, particularly with respect to new pattern of diseases and that the attention and new attention on health financing and also demand for responsiveness. Leading manager and governing modern health system require new skills competencies. There's also the need to meet special goals and a lot of challenges are associated with service delivery that has to focus on improving geographical access and financial access. There is the issue of working conditions. Most of the times, health leaders and managers are working on stable conditions and this results mostly from constant changes in roles and relations. We must not forget the issue of local challenges. In many settings, ineffective leadership and governance in the health system has remained a major challenge and a binding constraint. And this has resulted in poor health outcomes. The goal of LMG program, the goal is to provide a pathway primarily for health leaders, managers, and their teams to strengthen LMG practices and also to prepare all current and future health managers to work to achieve results. There are also special objectives of LMG program and it includes improved leadership management skills and practices and also improve our role governance of health programs and institutions and also includes leverage reliable tools and processes Produce measurable results through team projects, enhance capabilities of health professionals to build stronger health systems, and with the emphasis here to generate more significant and sustainable health gains, and finally to enhance adequate competencies so that we have managers that can lead and manage health services that reduce illness save lives and achieve health goals, both national and international health goals, such as sustainable development goals. In settings where the LMG development program has been implemented, a lot of positive results and outcomes have been achieved. It has enhanced better LMG governance practices. It has improved the functioning of health management teams and also general improvement in technical programs. It has also improved service outputs and has facilitated the development of critical mass of health leaders. There has also been improvement in financial management, coordination of teams, transport, logistics, there has also been increased teamwork and harmony in the health team generally and in staff moral and also relationship between the providers and their clients. Adoption of management practices and tools have also encouraged leaders to prepare more realistic business and technical action plans. Similarly, in places where LMG has been implemented, the health leaders and managers are reported to meet regularly to plan their work and also to prepare job descriptions and to draw up detailed itineraries and also improve supervisory system. In places where LMG development has been implemented, it has impacted 
positively and has helped to achieve strong leadership, sound management, and transparent governance, and overall, stronger health system and better health outcomes. IHAT is committed to providing entry point for LMG support system. And our foundation course is actually an LMG entry point. We have designed it to improve knowledge and general understanding of LMG. The course object areas will include LMG concepts, principles, methods and practices, and the application in the health system. The foundation course consists of five modules. The five, module one will be dealing with health system thinking. The module two will be on fundamentals of leadership managing, management and governance. And we focus on leading, managing and governance practices. While module three will focus on essential leadership skills and positive values. While module four, we'll be talking about managing health workforce for optimal performance, dealing specifically with human resource function. And finally, the module five will be dealing with dimensions of accountability in the health system, focusing on types of accountability, the accountability mechanisms, and the types of abuses, frauds, and wastes that happen in the health system as a result of field accountability. Our dream for better health will remain a dream unless we work for it. Therefore, effective leadership, management, and governance is the key.